And top cops tell CNN News 18, this is an information that we get from the highly placed sources that CDR details of the two women and four men have been collected. Analysis of the details is pending, which will confirm the location at the time of the incident. This will also help prove that Nidhi was with Anjali on scooter because the CCTV footage that has come out is very blur. But to conclusively establish that Nidhi was actually present with Anjali, uh, this kind of uh, you know call data analysis is going to be very, very important. I want to cut across to Anvit, who's getting us all the details. Anvit, tell us why the CDR details are crucial in this investigation. Anvit, am I audible to you? Can you hear me? Yeah, Anusha, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine now, Anvit. The, 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 the aspect uh, particularly we are discussing right now is about the CDR details and how it is going to help Delhi police in this entire investigation, especially confirming that Nidhi was with Anjali on that fateful night. Give us more details, Anvit. See, uh, the CDI details which, uh, which uh, the police are, are trying to get, you know, they will certainly help police uh, establish what the location of these women were uh, and uh, also the CCTV to corroborate the, it with the CCTV footages uh, that have already surfaced in this area, uh, in this case. So, uh, the CDI details of all these four men yes. who were in Baleno and the two women, Nidhi and Anjali, have been obtained by Delhi police and now detailed analysis is underway to find out what was their current location on that fateful night. So that it can be established that Nidhi was uh, with Anjali because that is what she has stated in her statement under 164 CRPC and also that the same thing she had repeated uh, when she was giving interview to C uh, News 18 India uh, and she had stated this repeatedly that she was with Nidhi and that both of them, uh, that Nidhi, Anjali was drunk. In fact, the police have found that both these women were drunk at that time when she had left the hotel, when they both of them had left the hotel uh, at around uh, 1.30 a.m. that night. So, see, this will be crucial because the uh, police uh, so far only has statement of Nidhi which they are going by but uh, going by the fact that Nidhi too was drunk and two days later her name surfaced and then uh, yesterday it was when a statement was recorded. So will it be uh, totally reliable to go by the statement of a woman who you know who, who woke up from slumber two days later and then comes to the police and tells that she was the pillion rider on Anjali's scooter. So uh, going by those facts police have decided to now you know get, get the CDI details and detail analysis underway which will ascertain scientifically that both these women were together uh, at that night and at the time of incident uh, whether those four men were also there so it will help yeah. police establish sequence of incidents scientifically in this case sequence of events to establish that scientifically is very very critical in any investigation as i've been pointing out and how anvit is also reporting on this entire matter and we're coming back to you and talking about nidhi's statement do we know for sure do we know conclusively that the delhi police knew about the presence of second person on that scooty earlier or did they get to know about it two days later? Because that tells us a lot about the manner in which this investigation is being carried out. See, the incident uh, took place on 31st night and then uh, it was on Sunday that uh, the incident was, uh, you know, early morning uh, on 1st that uh, incident was reported and on Monday mm -hmm. it was that uh, uh, police had already zeroed down to this woman. Her statement was recorded on Tuesday. So police, uh, you know, when the initial investigation started and they came across the CCTV footages from the area, they had uh, spotted two women on that scooter because the series of CCTV footage have come for forward. Uh, so when the two women could be spotted, then they started tracking around who this person was who was riding pillion on the scooter and they finally uh, managed to reach out to uh, Nidhi's house. This she had also corroborated in her on-air on, uh, you know, on interview which she gave to News in India. She said that police had reached out to her house and then uh, you know uh, she was asked to join the investigation because she has also maintained that when the incident took place she uh, fled the spot, she was petrified, she was in shock and therefore she fled the spot. She went home and told her mother about it but did not disclose as many details as uh, you know she could have uh, disclosed to either her family or to Anjali's family or to the police. So uh, now uh, when we see that police, uh, you know, the uh, Anjali's family have also come out, they are also saying that they do not uh, rely on these statements. So police have also taken this step and the uh, CD have already been taken which will corroborate whether uh, Nidhi is lying or she is uh, you know b b what uh, the statement that she has given that she was with Anjali, Anjali that will now be scientifically pro pro proven that will be scientifically proven so two